Oh, sh Oh, this is not good. No, 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 no. Don't go there. Don't go there. That is a long ways down. Oh, my God. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to get started uh, by figuring out the partitions that we're going to use downstairs for uh, the rooms. And then after that, maybe we'll go do a uh, do a little bit of exploring uh, another mission or two, just depending upon how our time goes. So, I'm, so this isn't. I'm not planning on this being an, an, a full building episode, um, but uh, we'll kind of mix up a little bit of building with uh, a little bit of adventuring. Okay, so I had to um, I had to give this some thought on how I was going to divide things down here, and I have a I think I have a pretty good idea of how it's going to go. Um, so the idea is that we're going to basically we're going to have two rooms over here. We're going to have one room here, one room here, and one room here. And then this section here will be kind of like a common area. Uh, so that's the plan anyway. So I think what we'll do first is let's go to you, I think. Illumination. Yeah. And let's have you make, let's make five or six. Let's make a total of six of these, which we should be able to do. Okay. Um, because we're going to need them for light once we start, you know, closing things off down here. Uh, all right, so. And for now, I'm just going to kind of put them in the corners. And they may not actually stay down here permanently either, but just so we have some light. Once we, because once we close these places in, we're not going to be able to see very well. Actually, you know, for these guys, let's put you guys more kind of in the middle. Oh shit, what the hell did I just pick up? I, I really don't like that about this game. It should not pick up things that you can't, that are not in your visible range. Um, I want to put a light there. Let's actually put this one more right here. Um... It looks like I picked up a bed. <laughs> okay. I think I had a bed down in the the alchemist room. Let's put that one more like right there. And we'll put one here. Okay, so I think that'll give us light in each one of the rooms that we're gonna set up. I'm gonna use palm wood for the for the walls because I like the palm wood. I think it looks good. And we'll probably we might even replace the refined wood floor with palm wood too, or maybe we won't. I think I am going to replace the floor surrounding this this little central section though, uh, but we'll worry about that later. Let's get into building mode here, and we're going to get up to four meter blocks, and we're going to um, uh, yeah, we're going to select palm wood. Okay, now. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to I want to make sure that we're measuring or or gauging distance properly amongst everything. So I want to keep snapping on as much as possible. So if we go here and then go here and then take this back off that gives us our distance from the central area. Okay, and then if we put that inside of that, um, the, you know the thing about this, just because the thing that that's made this more complex than you might think, it's just kind of the position of of the stairs coming down, uh, coming coming in. Coming, 
geez, Louise, uh, coming down here um, and, you know, where there's, those are located and the fact that I have an odd number of um, NPCs that I have to make a room for is just, I don't know, it's just kind of scrambled my brain a little bit, to be quite honest with you. I think, you know what, we're going to leave this here. I'm not going to try and cover that up. It's just going to be kind of the feature, uh, we'll say, of that particular room. Now, what we're going to do next is that's lined up perfectly with that, right? Okay. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to... Oh, okay. I need to do some... Actually, I need to do something a little bit different here. Um, we're going to take this wall here. And we're going to stick it right there. And then we're going to put in a wall there and a wall there. And we're going to take that out. But we are going to put a wall in there as well. Okay. And then this is going to be a doorway. Right there. And then this is going to be another wall. Now, did we get that doorway? Is it perfectly centered? Yeah, it looks like it is. On the center section here. All right. Good. So, oh, I didn't set this one right. Push that back a little bit. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, again, gauge the distance. Um, I'm going to put... I'm going to put that there momentarily. Yep. Okay, good. So that lines that, lines that up perfectly. And then we're going to... I think do this. All right. And then this is going to be a doorway. This is going to be a wall. This is going to be a doorway. Wall and wall. And we'll take that out of there. All right, so this is the first room. This is the second room. And this is the third room. And all we have to do now here is just flip this this way. And I'm not going to be able... One of these rooms is going to be just a little bit bigger than the other because... Um, well, okay, if I turn snapping off... Even with snapping off, it's still, you know, going to be, the difference is going to be one wall's width. So, for example, if we put this here, um, there's going to be just a tiny bit less space on this side than on this side. And I can't, there's nothing I can do about that. It's just the nature of the beast here. Okay. So this room is a tiny, tiny bit smaller than this room. Okay, good. So far, so good. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna work on this next room. This will be our fourth room, and again, we're gonna put that there, kind of as our gauge, and then that's gonna go there. This is gonna be a doorway, and that's gonna go there. And then we remove the gauge. And then this will be like that and like that. And that lines up perfectly with this. And this is our fourth room. This one's going to be a little bit smaller, but, you know, it is what it is. It should be the same 
Should be the same as this one. This one's even smaller, though, of course, because it's got the stairs in the way. Just making sure that I did that right. Because it's really... It's... You might be surprised how easy it is to kind of misalign some of this stuff. Of course, if you've been playing the game for a while and you've been building in it, then you probably aren't surprised about that. Okay, that's good. Now, um, I think what we'll do next is we've made sure these were lined up there. Right, okay. So now we're going to uh, put another doorway here. Like that. And a doorway here. And a solid wall here. Right, and then we could make this room a little bit larger, or we could just make it the same as the other room over on the other side, which I think I'm going to do. Um, it was this room over here that we gave just a little bit more space to, right? One way we could do this is just to do this temporarily. Okay. Thing is, is even if that was off, we'd never know the difference. And this will be our fifth bedroom. Okay, so bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three, or we should say chambers, I guess, but yeah, bedroom, chambers, whatever. Bedroom four and bedroom five. Five seems like it has a, neck, a, a lot of space. And then this will be, um, you know, like a common room or a foyer or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so that gets our partitions done. Now, what I think I want to do out here is, uh, what if we, yeah, I want to put this type of flooring in around here, except for that we're going to need to make some more of those blocks, which we can do. Uh, that's fancy stone block, right? No, not fancy. What it? What is that stuff? It's highly polished stone block. All right. Fortunately, that still just needs stone. Damn. Oh, wait a minute. I'm putting foundations down. No, 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 no. We don't want foundations. We want floors. Because foundations use a lot more material. We want to go to floors. It's going to say, man, why did, how did I run out so fast? Oh, wait, what the hell? Hmm. Okay. I did some weird stuff there. Okay, that's looking good. to fix that. Hmm. The thing is, though, is that um, this goes into the threshold, and this one does too, but the rest of them do not. Let's 
So, I think... I think I don't want them to do that. Um, okay, so let's get back to here. Building mode. Let's go up to here. Oh, hold on. I need to switch to this. All right. And let's also do the same thing here. Beautiful. Okay, now we need to fix this. Um... What if we go to the two meters and pop that in there? And I think that fixes it. Okay, cool. Very cool. Very cool indeed, man. Very cool indeed. Okay, so, yeah, I like this little, you know, checkered floor out here. I think that looks good. Now we could also we could replace the refined wood floor which still does not look like refined wood by any stretch of the imagination if you ask me uh, with palm wood for the flooring and I'm kind of thinking that would look good um let's switch to palm wood here And we want to go to four meter and we want to go to floor. Yeah, I like to look at that better. Um, what is this? What is this business right here? That's weird, man. There, I think I got it. Okay. Will that... Will that fix itself? If we go out of visual range? Yeah, it did. Okay. I thought maybe it would, but... All right, I'm going to switch the rest of these floors to palm wood. All right, we got that all done. Let's go upstairs here, and... I want to make some doors for each of the rooms. And let's see, stone doors, copper doors, iron doors... I think the polished wooden doors probably would look the best. So it looks like I need to go out and make some more wood logs. We should have enough tar, but it might not be a bad idea to get another batch of tar going. Um, let's go to tar. We need wood log. Well, we need logs for that too. Um, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go cut some wood. Okay. I think we have everything we need now to make our doors. Um, you know what I didn't actually do is I didn't check to see if I have any of those doors in here. If I did, this is where they would be. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So we should need five doors here. go nice me likey me likey we'll definitely have to put more light in each one of those rooms but yeah that's good it's good stuff 
what I'm thinking about for this room is putting, basically putting trophy heads all along the wall, among other things. Um, when that time comes. Okay. Very cool. All right, guys. I think that's going to be all we're going to do for this episode in terms of building. Uh, why don't we go out and see if we can knock out a quest or two before we wrap up the episode. Oh, we're pretty short on arrows, it seems. How am I doing on twigs? Kind of low. I'm going to have to probably go farm up some twigs, too. But let's make some more arrows here. Uh, we'll make iron. It gives us 300 arrows, and then we'll turn them all into poison. I just make them into poison arrows, because why the hell not, right? I got lots of poison, lots of sulfur. I don't think it ma matters for humanoids, but it, it's supposed to do more damage against critters. That gives us 408 arrows. Okay, let's see. We need two Flask of the Fell, one Wisp of Light Potion. We have five lockpicks, so we're good to go there. It gets us five potions each. We're doing pretty good on food. Let's do a quick repair. And figure out what we want to do. Okay, so... Um, the greatest game. Now that's going to get us down into the south. We also have the Sun Temple there too, which probably has some pretty decent loot in it. And we've got a, we've got a thing there. Sun, we, okay, so we have a sun temple there. We have a sand digger camp thingy there. Oh, the haunted sun temple. We've already been through that one. That's where we killed the sickle scythe boss. Another elixir well there. Um, I think, oh, there's a sun temple there too. Why don't we do this? Why don't we go to the spire, do this sun temple, and then work our way down and do this elixir well. I don't know if any of our quests include that. Underground Festation, yeah, that's back at the at Lapis, um, East Lapis. What is this? Where is this at? Sand Digger Camp on Fertile Ground, okay. Uh, mixed Stones. Oh, that gives us a new block. Uh, where exactly? Okay, hold on. Someone misplaced a building material on a ruined bridge in the Nomad Highlands. Find and claim the building blocks to learn more. A bridge? Okay, so it's going to be ruined bridge right here. Okay. Lupa's Lair. Oh, we've been across that bridge, actually. Uh, I guess I just missed where the stones were. Okay, let's do this. Let's go fast travel to that spot and see if we can find these stones. I'd like to see what they are. You know, one thing that I don't like about the way the game works is that... Um, here, let's go back to here for a second. Make that the main quest. Uh, I don't like that you have to get all the way to the end of the game to unlock all of the building materials. And the reason I don't like that is because what if I want to build my base, you know, around the mid game and then enjoy it for the rest of the game. But if I, if I don't have access to everything I need to build that base, um, until the end game, then, you know, I can still build it, but then, you know, the game's over at that point. So I can't quite really enjoy it as much. That's, oh shit. Uh, that's, you know, kind of what I'm thinking.
So, you know, long story short, just I, I wish we could we would get access to all the building materials by the mid by the mid game and not by the end game. Um, that's quite a ways down there, isn't it? But, you know, it is what it is. So, okay. So, apparently somewhere on this bridge there is Oh, it says it's below. Like how far below? I guess we're gonna find. Oh shit! <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, this is not good. No, 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 no! Don't go there. Don't go there. That is a long ways down. Oh my god! All right. Um, <laughs> shit. Wow. Uh, okay. So the blacks are on the bridge. They're just below the surface of the bridge, but still on the bridge. Damn it, Jim. Uh, all right, I'm going to have to figure out how to get back out of here. I haven't been down in this area for a long time, so I don't remember how to get out. But I'll figure it out, and I'll meet you guys back up at that bridge again. All right, let, uh, in case anybody's curious, uh, what I did was I... Here's the bridge. I just walked up to here, and then there's this little area that you can get up on to get you out of the shroud um, while we're here though we might as well oh yeah look at that we even got a chest with a clean bandage it's a beautiful thing all right let's teleport back up here and try not to fall off the bridge this time okay so it still says location below right there is it this no those are explosive powder balls Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. Nice! Regular stone block. Cool! I want to see what that looks like. For sure. Um... Alright, if we... Oh. Hey, cut that out. Lockpicks. Nice. All right. Did I... I left my... Yeah. Shoot. Okay. Let's go back to the base because I left my building hammer there. I don't carry it with me when I'm out in the field. No reason to, really. But I want to see what this looks like. But yeah, I wish I wish that um, all of the building materials would become available to us. You know, at least by the late mid game, would I, I'd say. So that way we know... You know, know what we have to work with and we can build our ultimate base and still enjoy that base while we're, you know, playing the in to the end game. That is what I think. Anyway, let's go outside here. Okay, so um, let's go to here. That looks halfway decent. I mean, it still seems more like an exterior block to me by the way that it's weathered. But at least it doesn't have, like, dirt and black mold and roots and all that shit in it. Okay, let's, um, let's see what the walls look like. All right. Uh, still, like I said... More, really more of an exterior look than an interior look. And in my opinion, which you're all entitled to, by the way, in case you didn't know that. <laughs> um, I think they need more interior blocks in this game. They have too many exterior blocks. I think they need more interior stuff. Um, Yeah, so there you go. There you have it. Okay, we're at the Kendallway Spire, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to go after this elixir well for the rest of this episode, because unfortunately we're kind of running out of time here. 
So let's get up this way. Okay, and we need to buff up here. It's awesome that we have over an hour of rested buff. It's amazing. Okay, let's do this. We've got some high level enemies in this area. Uh, this is the way we want to go, though. Okay, we'll get full, full rested or full non shroud buff there. Go this way. Or not. Guess we won't go that way. We're gonna go this way. Get some blue cloth out of that deal. be a, a spawner over there. Oh yeah, it's right there in the gobbledygook. Oh, we got another one of you. Okay, let's see. We got the bug parts. Let's go this way. Oh, it's you. I didn't get a good, do a good job of getting away from him there, did I? Um, let's see if we can pull him away from that other bad dude. Okay, come at me, bro. He did come at me, didn't he? Shit. Getting around him. Got him. Okay. All right, we had another asshole over here shooting at us. Not timing that very well, am I? Got him. Excuse me. Alright, what's over here? Not really anything that I can tell. Why don't we give ourselves just a little bit of light, too? wall to climb and nothing but death down that way
<laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Seeing anything up here? Okay. There's a bug den. Whoops. Man, I'm hoping I can get that guy to blow up. There we go. Where'd that come from? Oh, you. Chest and a bug din. Whoops. Or that might have been actually a different kind of spawner. Let's see what's in this chest over here. Tard bow. Um, the last time I looked at that, I didn't like it. Because it's got a second draw speed and only 7% arrow speed. So, we're going to salvage that. Alright, let's continue on here. This is a... Quite the elixir well here in terms of just the size of it. Okay, there's the root over there. What's going to happen when we come down here? Doesn't look like we can get to the root from there. Yeah, this is definitely the biggest elixir well I've been in so far in this game. a bug but I don't see it oh wait we came from this direction let's go over here this. Ten bars. Oh. That's a sickle scythe. Seems like it's a bug, though. I mean, I'm not going to complain. Actually, I would have preferred to have fought it legit, but... Yep. That's the second sickle scythe that I've had bug out on me. In my favor, of course, but still. It's not really the way it should work, right? Elder trousers. Mana and mana regeneration. Okay, that's definitely caster stuff. Let's 
So I'm assuming that was the main boss of this route, maybe? Oh! Pay attention, OG! Good lord! Damn. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of a tricky spot to fight in if, if we, you know, ended up having to fight here because there's a lot of holes to fall in. There we go. Got her done. Um, I have three points. And we have veteran. That requires five points. I wanted to get piercing damage up. Let's finish shroud if I suppose with a melee weapon you would punish five seconds of shroud time. Yeah, let's put some points into piercing damage because our current weapon um, has piercing damage, yeah. Okay, we got a chest here. Experience scroll. All right, I think that's about it. There's probably, there might be another chest around here somewhere. Let's go, let's see, what, we came, which what direction did we come from? Don't remember now. Yeah, we opened that chest already. And I think we came through here. Yeah, this is where I just about fell down into the, the death water there. If you even can call that water. I think it was water at one time before the shroud. And I'm thinking that's probably about it. Unless we were down here earlier. It's kind of hard to say. Oh, there's a chest. <gasps> Shit. <laughs> okay, uh. Yeah, the chest is up there. Any chance I can get up there from here? I could probably mine my way up there, actually. Because that's going to be kind of a long ways to run around. There we go. Radiant Paladin Boots. Uh, plus four health regeneration and minus... 120 milliseconds of health regeneration delay. Very nice. Nice boots. Not probably not something we're gonna wear, but because it doesn't fit our build, but it's it's good stuff nonetheless. Alright guys, I think we're gonna wrap up the episode here. And uh, so next episode, I my my tentative plan at this point, you know, and I always reserve the right to change my mind, but tentative plan is we'll keep working on um you know getting the, the basement set up. We'll do just a little bit of building at the first part of the episode and, and some more questing in the second part of the episode, you know, for our remainder, uh, the remainder of our time in this series. So that way we kind of mix it up a little bit. So that is the plan and we'll just, you know, see if it actually works out that way. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.